Some of the finest Major League talent for the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim got their professional start here at the Epicenter in Rancho Cucamonga. And on a warm day here in Southern California, APN Sports is proud to present coverage of the Pacific Coast Baseball League's AA Championship here in 2010. It's the Woodies and the Outlaws. Pitch swung on a missed high and tight fastball, and the runner takes off, thrown out at second base. Sure, with good speed at second base, and this one is hit on the ground into right field for a base hit. The cheer comes around to score, and it is one to nothing in favor of the Outlaws here in the bottom of the first inning, and a two out single to right by Jeff Brooks. In the air to center field. Backing up now, coming on, the center fielder makes a catch to end the inning. 1-0 pitch, swung on and chopped towards third. They're going to come home, stepping on first, and out at the plate is Avila. The epicenter is what it is called. The next pitch, swung on and missed. He chased a ball low and outside. Swung on and grounded towards short. Go to the second baseman, the short way, Trejo to Morton, and that's the end of the inning. One one pitch, swung on, hit on the ground towards right. Cut off by the second baseman Morton over to Brick Handler, and there's one out here in the top of the third inning. Here's a looping fly ball left center field. Brian Fatour with a diving catch. A spectacular play by the outlaw center fielder as he went completely sprawled out. Fields his pitch. This one is swung in line to the gap in right center field. It's going to fall in for a base hit. Rounding third and coming in scoring easily is Avila, and we're tied at one here in the top of the fourth inning. Pitch is grounded towards short, could be two to second one. Relay in time for a double play. Trey Hoda Morton to Brick Handler, and that's the end of the inning. This ball is grounded towards short. In fact, it could be two to second one. The relay in time for a 6 4 3 double play, and just like that, Luna and the Woodies are out of the inning. Here's a pitch swung on off the glove of the pitcher, fielded by the shortstop, and the quick throw to first is in time. A great job by the shortstop and the first baseman with the long stretch, and the inning is over. Here's a fly ball out into left field by Nadler, and he makes a diving catch. Well, I'll tell you, the tandem of Nadler and Futur have been impressive here at Rancho Cucamonga. Chop towards short. Trejo can't make the play, and it skips towards the second baseman. Morton, the throw coming home is off the mark, and scoring from second base is Pena, and then it's two to one. Woody's here in the top of the ninth inning. He slams one into left field. This is going to be a base hit, and it's going to score. Avila from second base is the throw from Nadler coming in. It's three to one in favor of the Woody's here in the top of the ninth inning. But after a scoring drought for most of the ball game, the Woodies have broken through here in the top of the ninth with two runs. The pitch is swung on rip into right field for a base hit. Coming around third to score easily will be Morton. And it is now a one-run lead for the Woodies as it's a three-to-two ball game. So the Woodies are gonna go with right-hander Junior Avila coming out of the bullpen with two out here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Vila's 1-2 pitch. Strike three, a swing and a miss, and the Woodies win this championship by a score of 3-2 as Junior Avila strikes out Josh Nadler with the tying run on its second base. The Woodies with two runs in the top of the ninth win this ball game by a score of 3-2 and the double-A championship in the Pacific Coast baseball.